What's going on guys, this is Zebo here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on After Effects, and I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics of some 2D work, and I'm going to go ahead and RAM preview this out so I can show you guys what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So, let's go ahead and finish RAM previewing this, and you can see that it kind of just spins like that, and it looks really sweet, and so... Um, I had a lot of requests for this last time, and so, or on my last tutorial, a bunch of guys commented asking for a tutorial on some 2D text, um, and so I'm just going to be bringing you guys my first tutorial today on 2D text and After Effects, and if you want more tutorials on this, then just be sure and comment below, and so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this composition and completely restart, so... I just have a texture here on my computer. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to go download that. And so just drag it on top of this new composition and then just come up here to the horizontal type tool or hit control T on your keyboard. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in here Zebo presents. And so now if we come up here and click on our selection tool, we can just make that a little bit bigger and um, I'm just going to go ahead and add some fast blur. It's just going to make it look a little bit better. And so just come over here to your effects and presets and type in fast. Or you can come up here to your effects and it's under blur and sharp and fa fast blur. And just drag that on top of your text. Change the blurriness to about 3 and hit repeat edge pixels. And then what I'm going to do is turn the opacity down by um, coming down to our text. Hitting T on the keyboard and... Let's go ahead and change the opacity down to just about 75 so it blends in a little bit with our background and it just looks a little bit better and so um, now what we need to do is to actually start creating this nice 2D effect. Go ahead and click on your text and then come up here to layer and hit 3D layer. And So now we can see that we have these X axis, Y axis and a Z axis where we can actually uh, have our text as a 3D layer. And so what we need to do is just hit R on our keyboard and that's going to bring up our rotation menu and let's just go ahead and go to about one second in and just hit all these little stopwatches and so it'll keep our text there and then what we need to do is get the Y orientation come forward just a little bit about half a second or a second and you, you can just experiment with that depending on how fast you want your text to spin. And I'm just going to change this Y orientation. Just drag that to about 90 or you can just click and type it in. And so now if we look at this we can see that it's just going to spin like that and it's pretty much going to go invisible. And so what we need to actually do is click on our text, hit Control C and Control V on our keyboard and that's just going to make a duplicate layer and so we can see that there's no difference. Um, it's just a little bit darker because it has this one on top of it So what we need to do is just hide this bottom layer by clicking this little eye and Then we need to hit R on our keyboard once again, but this time on our top layer and What I'm gonna do is actually just go ahead and delete all these keyframes and Come back down here to our second one where we actually already started the animation hit R on our keyboard again and Let's just find the position where we actually, um, we were finished spinning and so um, just zoom in on this a little bit and come to this keyframe and you're not going to be able to see it because this text is hidden so um, just hit shift 1 on your keyboard and that's going to make a little marker and so we know where to start this animation and so what we need to do now is just zoom in on here a little bit more and we can see that now we have our marker here at 1 and what we need to do is just change this Y orientation to 90 on our top layer and hit this little stopwatch so now we can see if we unhide the bottom layer that these keyframes are going to force it to spin around and then this top layer is actually going to be at the same position you just aren't going to be able to see it and so what we need to do just come forward about three-fourths of a second like I said just to experiment with that and we're gonna hit our Y orientation and change that to 360 degrees and so now if we look at this we can see 
that it's just gonna spin around, kind of disappear, and then it's gonna spin all the way back around and say Zebo presents once again. And if you want this to say something different, we can just hit this text and um, we can just change this to a tutorial. And so now, if we look at this, Zebo presents, and then it's gonna spin around a tutorial. And that just looks really nice. You can put it on top of your cinematics for Call of Duty 4. Um, any Call of Duty, you can add this to um, your in real life edits, anything. It's just a really nice effect. And um, if you guys want some more tutorials on some advanced 2D work, um, please leave your comments in the, in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Once again, please comment, like, and favorite this video if you enjoyed it. Um, that just ins um, motivates me to put out more tutorials for you guys. And so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And this is Zebo, guys. I will see you next time.